Hi everyone. Let's solve the following problem. Find the first four non-zero terms in the Maclaurin series for the function integral of sine of x over x dx. Okay, let's call this f of x. Also, let's define that f of zero is equal to zero. Okay, let's divide in a couple of steps. Step one, if I call g of x equals to sine of x, then I can write my function g as the following series, the series from n equals to zero to positive infinity of minus one to the power n times x to the power 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial. Yeah, how can I get that? We're gonna use a theorem that says I can write g of x as a series from n equals to 0 to positive infinity of g and derivative of g when you apply the point 0 because I'm assuming we're working with Maclaurin series, and Maclaurin series is a Taylor series at x equals to zero. So I have to apply zero here over n factorial times x to the power n. Okay, so if we start computing the derivatives, you're gonna realize the derivatives repeat in a cycle of four. Yeah, I have sine, and the second one, cosine, third one, minus sine, fourth, minus cosine, and then I come back to sine. Yeah, and then when you evaluate this at zero, I have g of zero is zero. g prime of zero is one. g double prime of zero is zero. g, the third derivative of g at zero is minus one. The fourth derivative come back to zero. And then we can write the Maclaurin series as follow. Yeah, so notice I'm gonna have zero plus x plus zero minus one over three factorial x cubed plus zero, and then I can continue. And then we can realize we have this series as mentioned before. Notice first case is n zero. So I have in the even case, I have zero. The other one, the third case, is my actually when my second derivative is also even and I also have zero. And on the other hand, when I'm in the odd case, I'm alternating between one and minus one. That's the reason when I have even derivatives, it's always zeros. When I have odd derivatives, I'm alternating between one and minus one, so I have to alternate my sign. So it explains why we have the series like that. Okay, you guys got it. Let's move to step two. Since sine of x is written as the way that we found, let's divide by x both sides. Dividing by x, we have sine of x over x is actually equal to the series when n from zero to positive infinity of minus one to the power n x to the power 2n over 2n plus 1 factorial and now that's for all x but zero because i'm dividing by zero okay step three means the integration okay let's integrate both sides integrating both sides we're gonna find that my integral is gonna be equal to series from n equals to zero to positive infinity of minus 1 to the power n times x to the power 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 from the integration times 2n plus 1 factorial that we had before. But we have to add a constant c because we are applying the integral. But at the beginning we said f of 0 is equal to 0. It implies when I apply 0 here in my series, I'm only going to have C. It implies C is going to be equals to zero. Okay, let's continue that. 
if I have this series describing as the follow, we can write term by term. Let's plug n equals to zero and find the first term. Okay, minus one to the power of zero, one. Two times zero plus one is just one. And one factorial is also one. And then we're gonna realize my first term is gonna be only x. Let's apply one. When apply one here, I have minus one to the power one, x to the power two plus one, that's three, over two plus one, that's three, times two plus one factorial, that's three factorial. And then my second term, is minus 1 x cubed over 3 times 3 factorial. What do you have to do next? Let's plug third term, that's the number 2. Plugging 2, you have minus 1 to the power 2, x to the power 5, the over 5 over 5 factorial, and minus 1 to the power 2 is just 1. Okay, proceeding that way, we can find, we can find the next term. That's going to be minus 1 times x to the power 7 over 7 times 7 factorial. Yeah, great. And it means my first four non-zero terms are x minus x cubed over 18 plus x to the fifth over 600 minus x to the power 7 over 35,280. And then we can proceed and find the other terms. But here the question was, find the first four non-zero terms. And we got it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make comments, suggestions, give us a like, share the videos with your friends. And see you soon.